This is called the matchstick switch because um, when you do the switch, you're striking it like a match off of its box, right? Even sounds like it, right? Um, now, how it's done is quite interesting, really. Um, it's kind of like a classic pop, uh, top palm, one-handed top palm, um, and almost a cardini at the same time. Um, so really what, what you're doing is uh, you're starting with a double, right? So do your standard double lift, whatever you want to do. Um, you're going to get into this grip, uh, right? Where it looks like the action is being performed. Now the nice thing about this matchstick movement is you're training your spectator's brain for cards moving this way, um, right, in the first place. Um, but in fact, what's happening is the top card is being swept with uh, your pinky here down like this, while the top card or the second card is being pushed out to this side. So you can't see the back card from the front, right? So you end in this winged um, double swing position, <coughs> right? But now all the heat's on this card, or you make it on that card, and um, so you can do a cleanup with uh, the other hand, right? And now you're left clean. Um, so practice the switch quite a bit, and then uh, we'll get into cleanups uh, on it. But once again, the switch is you're doing starting with a double, right? And then you're doing your you, you start with your pinky in a normal position, right? And then when you want to perform the switch, you're gonna push away with your pinky. So you're getting that split off the top there. Um, and then while this finger is striking forward, right, you're going to clip that next card, right, and then swing both at the same time up and away, right, and there you go. So practice that switch. Um, and we'll get into some cleanups. So on the cleanup for matchstick, um, the more ideal one is the one-handed one. It's also probably the more versatile. Um, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna get into the switch position like so. And now, like I say, most of the heat's on this card, especially if it's signed or you're doing whatever with it. Um, and that's clearly clean. So you can do whatever you please with that. Um, but in the midst of bringing this hand down to the table or wherever you're gonna do, this is an ideal cleanup. So you're gonna raise those two fingers as much as possible, right? And you're virtually just gonna push it as far as you can over this corner, okay? When you get it to about here, you're gonna have to lift your pinky to the corner, push it down, and square it up, okay? And then do whatever you please with the deck. It's nice to do just on the motion on the way down to putting it down, okay? again if you get it into position right, and in full speed it looks something like that okay so smooth you don't have to go crazy or anything just smooth and a nice touch is if you do it, if you don't do it very quickly um, just smoothly uh, it doesn't click, so you don't get that. 
quick off of the cards, which is nice, right? But once you get that one-handed clean up um, down, you're by all means far ahead of the game on the two-handed cleanups. Um, the two-handed cleanups are much simpler and can be pulled off basically just as often. Um, ditch your card again and say you get it to even here, right? It's very opportune just to bring the other hand over and literally swipe it under and square up the deck. This leaves you in a perfect, and I mean perfect obviously, situation to do a quick gambler's cop and then now you're left with a completely clean deck that they can choose to examine, go through, whatever, because that first card is now here, right? <clears throat> so now the exact same cleanup as that can be applied just to a table. Um, if you do the switch, get it here, your left here, and you bring it down like so, literally bringing it and swiping it onto a table, and then lining up the deck. Beauty. Very simple, right? It almost ends up being that that first one-handed cleanup is more for the move monkeys out there. And it can get very clean. Uh, so practice it when you can. But the two-handed one works almost in any um, performance situation regardless. And maybe even beneficial, like I say, leading you into a cop of some sort. So play around with it. <clears throat> um, have fun. So, some troubleshooting you may have with the switch um, is a big part of it is really the grip with these two fingers, right? You really want to make sure it's on a flat face of your fingers and not per se in the knuckle because you're going to lose grip wherever you have that miscontact. Same with the thumb, make sure it's really on a flat point of the thumb. So more so up here, that would be correct. Now this ring finger is supporting the deck and then the thumb should be a little canted off. You notice the direction of it, it's not directly across from the middle finger. So if you get close to that, because the whole reason being is when you are flicking this deck or on this side the deck really wants to pivot side to side right which will make you lose contact with that flat edge and you'll start to um, peel away too many cards here right um, so really try and maintain that grip a good tip is when you're holding it in this hand and you come in to grab it to do the switch push down on the top card almost bowing the deck when grabbing it on the top and then grab that keeps it nice and tight um, in there it's just a good habit to maintain right and it, it, you can feel it when you do it you have uh, more control over this deck for sure um, to do the any type of uh, top maneuver on it. Uh, let's see, uh, other issues uh, you may have is when you're flicking this, you might end up pulling both cards away like that, right? And now you're left where either you're gonna miss or you're gonna pop this third card up and drop that card, <laughs> right? So, a good way to 
to maintain this flick is either glide it so it's on your nail contact point when you're pulling this so now it can slide from under your nail here but you still need enough downward pressure to not slide this card underneath now it's all in practice and feel um, I may sound like I'm overthinking it right now but it's the finer details um, you'll get it no matter what with practice but while you're pulling this now away it gives you good opportunity just to clip the very corner see how it exposes the corner here right of this card while you're slipping forward here like that okay now another key key thing while doing it is not only this nail here while sliding this card right use a lighter grip with your pinky than you would think on this it doesn't take a lot to slide this top card out um, if you're doing it too hard it's very hard to not slide both cards so all of this will be built into basically tendon memory in your hands because you do need to maintain this pretty solid grip with your middle and your thumb like I said before while maintaining quite a light touch with uh, your index and your pinky so it does take practice your hand will probably not be used to um, the, um, the whole grip so um, don't be discouraged in the first half hour or so of doing this um, you'll get there for sure but like I say you get ideally with a light touch you slide that away and now just with the corner that one's popping up right so that's just some of the finer points on it um, I, I feel there's tons of potential on what can be done especially um, with this card on the back side here uh, just uh, as some thoughts final notes um, because it can be easily palmed off um, another routine I, I really enjoy is uh, using a blank card as your top card and then you force their card to the second right so then when you do your switch you can do this and then when you put their card here and you have a blank card underneath um, when you do the switch it looks like their card vanishes or turns into a blank card right um, and then that leaves you opportunity to palm off their real card um, just a thought um, lots of lots of little things to do with it and play around um, let me know um, either on uh, love to see you tag it on Instagram or Facebook um, I'm Wazire on Instagram W-A-Z-Z-I-E-R um, and I'll gladly give you any type of feedback or answer any questions as well so hit me up and we'll go from there Cheers.